as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem.
my boy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. All right, Murray. The Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing. And breaking stuff. is all over and go easy on the throttle it's been sticking lately quit worrying i'll see you in the winner circle
That cool is good. Gunships, converge on my position and destroy the Cooper aircraft. Send in a spare plane as well. Roger, Baron. All units en route. Sorry, Baron, but you'll have to fight there this year. What? Who is this? How did you find this frequency? What? No? Uh, this is... Oh, my commander! Oh, this plane's come unfixed. High time for an upgrade, I say. Oh, no, you don't, you weasel. Weasel, am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. <laughs> We're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticus. Pugilism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard! The Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground for a sake. Quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions.
There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit... exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock, my old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kinda... zenned out. Ah! Uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you can get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, I will do that. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. 
no, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause, uh, I don't know, it's... yeesh! Position! Uh, Melope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them? The answer? Split each shoot down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. the turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. I hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> any time. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. supports up on those pinwheels. Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan. Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there.
I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Huh? How do I Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Hola, what is that? Agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. Hi, what da Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The Guru will bridge your minds. See, you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child! You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool! Uh-oh. Fiery Wheel! Fiery wheel, booming chop, comes a fun, booming chop. Snap out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. 
ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance, let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me, my mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. 